everyone, Ray at the Dashing Womble here. I uh, hope everyone's doing well. Hopefully all the dashers are earning a few quid. <laughs> I thought there was someone else coming in then. Been busy here this morning. Uh, just an update on me. I'm still stuck in the hospital, as you can see. Um, my leg is not uh, progressing as far, recovering as fast as I was hoping. But... Um, just have to wait. Doctors have been passed through here this morning, poked and prodded at it, then it hurts even more. And they ask you uh, if uh, what's your pain level after it. Mm. Quite a bit now. <laughs> Thanks. Um, but you know, they've got to do what they've got to do. But um, definitely a big shout out to all the uh, nurses here at, at Santa Point Hospital. Uh, we thank you to all of them. I will be doing a uh, video about them. They certainly don't get paid enough, that's for sure. But I've always said that, so. Um, so, yeah, it's I haven't got anywhere really to prop this up. I've got it on my breakfast table, whatever they call this thing. There you go. Uh, so yeah, it's uh, so I'm not sure. I'm I thought I was going to be out in the next couple of days, but I'm not sure. The uh, doctor came past this morning, said because they changed my medicine over the week uh, last night. Um, they said that I guess if it's not improved by tomorrow, um, you're going to have to contact uh, infectious diseases. So. I'll be getting another doctor or two to come by. But it certainly doesn't look good, I know that. I just took a look, got a brief look at it as I was uh, rushing off to the loo just a little while ago. Because at the moment I can't see darn, f can't see a thing because I've got this great big breakfast table thing in front of me. Um. But yeah, it's, uh, they certainly look after you in here, that's for sure. They poke you about a bit too. I've got so many holes in me, I think I'm going to leak like a colander or sieve or something. Well, I suppose I do, it's called red stuff. But anyway. <laughs> but no, I uh, just hope that everyone's having a uh, good time out there. Hopefully you're all earning some money. Hopefully there's still money to earn. Um, I've seen that there's some uh, new uh, uh, features that DoorDash have uh, put on there. Or certainly the one uh, that may be in our market at some stage, not sure. Where they uh, tell you that um, if you're parked in a, in a, in a zone where it's uh, not so busy then it pops up and tells you that a nearby zone is much busier and you have the option whether you want to switch over to that. Now, we can do that anyway now, I mean, but we have to... Well, there's a way that you can check it without turn, turning, turn, ending your zone, but you can only do it once. And uh, that's if you're on the, on the dash green and you're in, it shows that you're in your zone. What you have to do is go down to uh, settings, I think it is, and then hit ho view home screen. And then as soon as you look at that, you've got to look at it quick because it comes up and it tells you nearby areas that, that, are, uh, that are busy or not so busy. And... Uh, and if they're not so busy, well, then you just sit where you are because it's pointless waste and petrol going, going elsewhere. I mean, I do that in the middle of the night and, uh, like, I'll be sat in Lee Summit where, where I've been sat for a little while and then I'll, if uh, Blue Springs is busy, then I'll head over there because I know there's, like, uh, more 24-hour restaurants to work with there. Um... But like I said, you can only do that one time, which is really weird. Then you have to end your dash and then hope for the best that, that wherever you're looking towards...
going to, whichever zone they're wanting to go to, that you, uh, that it's busy there. You could always just wait around for a few minutes and to see what happens. Um, of course, there's all other apps too. I mean, you don't just necessarily have to rely on DoorDash. I know we've got Uber Eats and Grubhub. Grubhub doesn't appear to be that brilliant um, most of the time in our area because it just tries to send us to restaurants that are so far away. And I don't know, I can't remember what the procedure is with, with uh, Grubhub. But if you get to a restaurant and it's closed or they just uh, don't have the order ready or the order is already being picked up, I mean, with DoorDash, at least they'll pay you at least half the money. Um, with Uber Eats, if that happens, then you just get paid $3. With Grubhub, I can't remember how that works out or even if I've ever found out. But, but anyway... But there's also other apps too. I mean, there's fill-in apps that you can do if you work during the day or night. There's these photography apps that you can do. Just go check out uh, buildings, take pictures of them. Um, I've done one where it was a nighttime picture. I did it like about one o'clock in the morning, actually. And uh, that was the first one I ever did. Just took pictures of Shoe Carnival and, and uh, its surrounding area. And it tells you what to do in the app. And that gives you anything from like, well, the lowest I've seen is $8. So those ones are not worth it unless you're right on top of it. Um, but $20, $40, $65. Uh, there's some that are a lot more than that too. But I haven't had any of those as of yet because, well, haven't been doing it that long. But it is a good, good thing to have at the side. Anyway, um, I think I'll leave you all with that and um, just wish you all a great day and um, I'm hoping to be out back out there dashing soon. Although the only dashing I seem to be doing at the moment is with these blasted water things that they give me. That's a lot of time to the loo. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching and uh, best of luck. Cheers. Ta-da.